It just so happens Sam is now walking the streets of America, and that's infuriating to most people who lost their money in the FTX collapse. If you lost your crypto in FTX, comment in the section below. Let us know just how you feel about Sam being out on a bond. There's so much that John talked about during an interview with Fox News, but before we get to that, let's roll that intro. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, that way you get updates when we drop new videos. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment in the section down below. Now check out this video. All right, folks, breaking right now, FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried pleading not guilty to all counts. Let's get the read uh, from Crypto Law founder John Deaton. John, uh, not necessarily a surprise per se. Uh, a, lot, a lot of folks thought he would plead not guilty, but as far as for the considering the hubris of this guy, and, and for me, what I'm concerned about is because I don't want this to be a story about one person's uh, hubris and greed, and, 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 and I, want to, I want everyone involved to, to, to sort of, you know, to, to pay a price at least. But what do you make of this so far, what's happened? Even, even the fact that he's out on bail pisses me off. Yeah, you had, you you have the sentiment of a lot of people out there, Charles. First of all, uh, Happy New Year! Thanks for having me. Great question to ask because this guy was denied bail in the Bahamas. Comes to the United States, he's granted bail. We see him in first class lounges, and we see him traveling business class. In the meantime, people have lost their retirements, they've lost their life savings. So people are upset about it, and it's understandable. But I do have faith that he's going to see justice. Because once you read the transcript of his partners in crime at their guilty plea, we learn that the prosecutors of the Southern District of New York asked the judge to keep it quiet mm. in order to get his consent for extradition and didn't release their cooperation until he was in custody of the FBI in the air. And when you read yeah. that plea agreement, he's toast, Charles. He's toast. But yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Yeah, of course, and you know, but I, I find it amazing that he's gone on websites and podcasts, throwing his girlfriend under the bus, and she did the smart thing, right? She cooperated. And was, he's really going to get thrown under the bus. But I'm, I'm talking about the wider picture here, John. Right? I mean, think about this. Peter Till said it was Joe Bankman's tax law course at Stanford that inspired him to put uh, his Facebook stock into an IRA. It saved him billions of dollars. Caroline uh, Ellison, right, the, the girlfriend. Her mom and dad also know how to work the system, right? I'm talking about people who may have helped design a system that deliberately, in my mind, was deliberately designed to rip people off to the tune of billions of dollars. Uh, you know, what chance that everyone involved in this or the key players will really face justice? Face justice. Well, that's a great question, and we have to have faith. The, the Southern District of New York, the U.S. Attorney's Office, has historically been independent or at least more independent of politics. And the U.S. attorney keeps saying that there will be more indictments. But I agree with you. When you look at that that structure, I'm sure you've seen that organizational chart that his dad had to help him with, and, and it's sheltered in a way that they don't have to pay taxes. It's a complete money laundering scheme. And the girlfriend, Caroline Ellison, has confirmed that, that it is all about money laundering and robbing people. She's admitted to it. He's toast. And hopefully dad that you just referenced he was on the payroll for at least a year yeah. there was a 14 million dollar vacation home in mom and dad's name not mom and dad's yeah. name for mom and dad in ftx's name hey john i got less than a minute to go i wanted to get an update on what's been happening with you i see uh some tweets from you a lot of frustration about ripple and all the xrp it just brings us up to speed on what's going on sure well the the all the memorandums of law and the briefs are in before the judge the judge may order a oral argument hearing next. That's usually the course. She doesn't have to. And it's really important because the issue, Charles, is secondary market transactions. Independent of Ripple, you know, XRP users using the platform. We have a hearing on January 30th involving someone you've interviewed, Naomi Brockwell, where she's never used it as an investment. She uses the platform and we're trying to convince the judge that the SEC has no right to reach into the secondary market of these users who are independent of these companies. Mm -hmm. But the SEC won't give clarity on that issue. Well, hopefully we'll get it. Uh, we appreciate your wisdom and your knowledge. Happy New Year, John. Thank you very much. Let's be honest here. Chances of Sam getting away with this current situation is way higher than what people think. Yep, you heard that right. Sam comes from a long line of connected individuals, and there's no way that Sam will be convicted for all the crimes he has committed. 
The unfortunate part about this entire story is that from the history of crypto companies that collapsed, it might take decades before we even see a cent of the money we lost. But looking on the bright side of life, by then, cryptos such as XRP could very well be worth over a million dollars. XRP is one of the most robust cryptocurrencies in the game, and that's all thanks to its applications in real life. XRP works as the right form of on-demand liquidity for partners of Ripple. More importantly, the company has been in court for quite a while now and still XRP is fighting on. Can we say the same thing when it comes to other cryptos such as FTT and others? If today someone sued Bitcoin, do you think it could survive? Probably not. And that's why I keep saying that this crypto is being suppressed by powerful people so that it doesn't show its true potential. When it does, it will likely be too late to invest in it. And that's why right now is the best time to invest in XRP while you still have the chance. Once the case settles, it's going to be too late. This coin will go straight to the moon in a matter of seconds or hours. And that move will be too fast for you to catch it. Guys, we need to be wise when investing in cryptos. As you've seen with FTX, don't let your cryptos sit in exchanges like you were not there when we have the greatest exchange collapse of our time. It's time to be wise and invest wisely and in the right cryptos instead of just blind investment. If you still have your cryptos in exchanges, I don't know what you're waiting for. And I think Binance could probably be the next crypto exchange to collapse. Not because the platform is bad, but because CZ was active in the collapse of FTX. Which exchange do you think is next? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, please do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can always let us know what you think in the comment section below and start up a conversation. Thanks as always for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below and turn on notifications. That way you'll get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next Money Side.